Hey guys, welcome back to my uh, Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. We're now inside the Mauville Gym. So, what? Me? Do grinding during the grinding episodes while you guys weren't paying attention or watching? Because the grinding episodes are boring? Well, I did. As you can see here, Athlon has become Super Athlon. His stats suddenly got a whole lot better. He learned a better move. That's Body Slam. Um... Mikale is still Combuskin, but is also still quite awesome, and Phantasm is, you know, cowering in third position because a single hit for an Electric-type attack will take him out with no difficulty whatsoever. So, I'm a little bit alarmed by the prospect of this gym, I have to confess. I mean, even though my Pokemon are way above where they should be for this gym, I'm still a little bit alarmed by it. Yeah, water type Pokemon or flying type Pokemon, such as uh, Phantasm secondary type. I'm still a little bit alarmed by it. I don't really know what I'm going to do about paralysis. Paralysis is the big question. Mikulay can't get paralyzed. It'll shatter your dreams whole. Mikulay cannot be paralyzed, or horrible, horrible things will happen uh, in the actual gym battle itself. So, what I think I'm going to do is cruelly use uh, Afflin as sort of a magnet for the paralysis and <laughs> have Afflin get paralyzed in Mikulay's stead because I know these trainers will have no issues with paralyzing Afflin. Quick attack. Delightful. Delightful. At least Sludge is very good. I mean, my concern is Pokemon like Magnemite which I actually have no good way of dealing with, short of, like, yawn. I'm gonna use yawn and then body slam it to death. <laughs> because I'm creative. Oh, Sonic Boom is a nasty move. It's a nasty move that I hate. It's nasty because all the trainer because all the Magnemites in this thing know Sonic Boom, and so your Pokemon, who you think are relatively safe from electric type attacks, they just get nailed by Sonic Boom. That's what happens with uh, when you try to bring Marsh Tomp into this gym. You'd expect the ground would destroy everything, and for the most part, you'd be right. But then you get to the gym leader and get nailed by Sonic Boom enough times enough times to lose anyway, or at least have to um, switch out to your beloved Linoon, who you've had since the first round of the game, and sacrifice your own you know, favorite Pokemon. <sighs> Which is obnoxious. Okay, what do I do now? Does Athlon go first, or does Athlon not bother going first? That is the question. The question is whether or not this guy has a Magnemite. If he has a Magnemite, then I want then I want Mikule in there, but if there are any Pokemon other than Magnemite, then I don't want Mikule in there, so I'm gonna start with Athlon, and I'm gonna see how this goes. Let's go well. Come on, guys. Let's go well, guys, 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 guys. Did I mention it's one in the morning? Oh, that's a Zigzagoon. I shouldn't be scared of Zigzagoons. Right? Right, please? Sludge? Do we like Sludge? We like Sludge. Yay, Sludge. Everyone loves Sludge. Nothing can't be improved with a little bit of nice, healthy, purple, toxic Sludge. Okay. Actual electric type trainer guy. Oh. oh the gym battles are always really nerve wracking, especially because uh this gym is full of uh, Voltorbs, and the Voltorbs always kill you with self destruct right when you want to not be killed by self destruct. Luckily Afflin is strong enough to just sort of power through them. But Many a beloved Pokemon has been destroyed by the self-destructing Voltorbs in this gym. And, see, this is precisely why I needed to have Afflin evolve before I came in here, if at all possible. Because I needed to be able to one-hit KO the Voltorbs with Sludge. Because this is a minefield. If you can't one-hit KO the Voltorbs here, it's a minefield. And you will lose a Pokemon, and it will be bloody. <laughs> Maybe that's a little bit overdramatic, but... Yeah, so, thank god for Athlon. Okay, last trainer who's not the gym leader, which means gym leader's up next. Always a scary situation to be in. What do you have? Ah, my old nemesis. We meet again.
I could switch. I could switch here, but because it's an electric type gym, I don't trust that it doesn't have some sort of trick of its trick up its sleeve, like a like Thunderbolt or something. I'm just gonna stay in and come what may. I think Sludge One hit KOs because Sludge One hit KOs in most things. Okay, yeah, <laughs> switching not good idea. I heard that Mavo was founded by Watson. That's nice. And here's the gym leader himself. Uh, the infamous gym leader Watson himself. I think what I'm going to do on his strongest is use Yawn to get Mikale in easy. I don't want to risk a critical hit. Derp. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I forgot about this. Um... Uh... How best to deal with this, except the fact that I'm gonna get paralyzed is how best to deal with this. I hope I don't get paralyzed, but I accept the fact that I'm just got paralyzed. Bah. Um, might as well encore it. Nah, it's a waste of my time. I'll just use body slam. I should have encored it. Haha! -ha, a taste of your own medicine, Mr. Matt. Wait a minute. But that means it can't fall asleep now. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. That's ridiculous. No, you fall asleep. <sighs> At least Thundershock's not that bad. Go figure. Time to switch out and pray for not getting thunder waved. Now Sonic Boom is always scary, but at least with Double Kick on my side. I'm hoping this level is high enough so that the threat of being self-destructed on by this particular Voltorb can be obvious. Don't get paralyzed. Oh, thank God. If that had self-destructed on me, end of Nuzlocke, right there. God, this is all so gamey. I can't deal with this. I better be faster. But I'm not good enough. What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? Shockwave? No, it's too smart for that. It'll paralyze me first. Well... <sighs> He's gonna heal it, and Double Kick will take it down if I don't get Parahaxed. And I got Parahaxed. Do your worst. <sighs> Man, these gym battles just get closer and closer. How is it that my Pokemon can be this high leveled compared to his? And I can still win only by the skin of my teeth. Oh my god, that's too intense. One or two more hits. Shockwave critical hit would have killed me. If that Voltorb had outsped me and self-destructed. I came out on top this time, but I came out on top this time because I was lucky. I could well have lost my starter. Right now, I'm just going to be happy to be out. Okay, let's see what he says. Okay. Alright. Now for a bit of awesome to, to um, um, bookend that sort of terrifying thing. Shockwave can be learned by either Afflin or Phantasm. I knew that Phantasm could learn it. I did not know that Afflin can learn it. This will require further reflection. I'll get back to you on it later. For now... This has been a <laughs> very, very stressful episode of Pokemon Sapphire. Thankfully not stressful in the worst possible way, only stressful in a sort of stressful way. Alright, uh, it's 1.35am, I think I'm going to bed. Uh, yep, that's about it then. Thanks for watching. <laughs>